I never know exactly when. It's always a little bit of a, of a delay. Hey, we're actually pretty close to the time that we said we're going to live stream. Oh, yeah? We said 8.30ish, and it's 8.36. Okay. That's ish. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> and we never know if it's going to be 8.45 or 9 or something. <laughs> yeah, there's a... I'm assuming there's probably going to be more people from Europe than usual, just because... time? Yeah, because it's like 8.30 for us, so, you know, depending on where they are in Europe, it's probably like... 2, 2 p.m. or something. Oh. Okay. You know, someone said 7.30 in Texas. This is like a morning live stream. Or like if you're in... Uh, yeah, if you're in California, it's got to be like... Yeah, it's like 5.30. 5.30? Yeah, we'll, yeah, someone, if you're on the West Coast, let us know. If you're watching at 5.30 a.m. Get the notification on the phone 5.30. Yeah. Oh, yeah, someone said 5.30-ish here in Arizona. Hmm. Good way to start your morning. 6.30 a.m. in the Mojave. 3.37 in the Netherlands, yep. Someone else watching in California, yeah. There's Australia, California. 10.37 p.m. in Australia. It's crazy, though. Like, it's, it's such different times. Yeah. I mean... We all know that it exists, but then just like hearing all those times from the people at the same time is interesting. Good morning from Canada. Just the whole country of Canada. Oh, nice. Nowhere specific. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Wait, let me uh, come to the other side so I can really see it. <laughs> this dude's playing with his food again. Good. No more fooling around. Yeah, this is serious business. Yeah, I'm assuming that there's not going to be quite as many people in this live stream just because it's so early. A live stream at the butt crack of dawn? Good morning, all. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, this is like the only time really that we could do it because of all the batches that we're doing. We're doing a, a secret new kind of ribbon candy later on and we didn't want to do a live stream for that we're doing a video for that so yeah it's gonna be good you're gonna love it yep but yeah especially if we do live streams at times that we don't usually do them i that's when i let people know about it on the community tab so it's usually relatively last minute that we do these so best way to know is just uh, follow us on the you know check the YouTube community tab uh, yeah if, if you have it on and also YouTube will say hey we'll let you know when um, you know someone does something on YouTube and then oftentimes they just don't yeah that's I think what it is like if you if you haven't been watching our videos lately then YouTube's like oh if you're not watching them I'm not gonna send you the, the notification <laughs> um, Mello sent a super chat chat says good morning I love you Cooper I in Canada, so they're probably in like Ontario. I'm assuming. Yeah, so I think if, you, if people do hit the, the bell notification thing, uh, I think you also have to be watching the videos like when they come out. 
because uh, I think if you're subscribed and even if you have notifications on, if you haven't been watching recently, I think YouTube is just like, oh, well, you clearly don't really like these videos that much. They're not going to send you a notification. So I think that's what it is. Um, Heather sent a really nice super chat. Thank you that for that, Heather. It was very generous of you. Hercules Candy, bring the world together. Love you guys. We love you too, Heather. And thanks again for the super chat. And thanks for tuning in so early, too. Yeah, really. It's, it is early. <laughs> Uh, good morning from Ontario, Canada. Hey, depending on where you are, that's like maybe four or five hours away. Yeah. You could probably get here before the before Come the shop down. closes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don says Don says uh, you're on my bucket list. Hope to get there this summer as I have terminal cancer. Oh, that's so, that's yeah. Awful. But hey, hopefully we could make her summer. Hopefully if she can cheer you up a little. Yeah. Get the candy if you come in. I would also love to know what's on her bucket list. Yeah, what else? She's probably gonna have a crazy summer compared to us. Yeah, where else are you going? <laughs> Some people just need to trim their subscribers. Hard to show. Every yeah, so like if you're subscribed to like 100 channels, I don't think YouTube's going to send you a notification for every single thing. It would be very annoying if it did, so I'm sure it kind of yeah. tones it down to like top 10 or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, probably like the most commonly viewed ones. And there, there's a lot of times I won't even subscribe to, I won't even realize I'm not subscribed to a channel, but I just watch them so often that it just shows up on my YouTube homepage. They just, yeah, I would, what is it? They're like... I, on the start of YouTube videos, people are always like, seventy-five percent of the people that watch it, yeah. are, like they'll watch my videos aren't subscribed. If you could just like check and see, please, like, mm -hmm. you guys don't watch my videos, and no one subscribes to me for some reason. Yeah, like ninety-five percent of my viewers aren't subscribed to me. It's like mm -hmm. three million views on the video, and like ninety-five percent of the people aren't subscribed. It's so weird. Yeah. Yeah, subscribers don't matter as much as they used to. Like when YouTube first started out. You had to subscribe, um, like really, to like to see the videos. But now it's just whatever you watch will show up. I subscribe sometimes when I watch uh, somebody maybe after the second or third time. Mm -hmm. Do we take PayPal for Canadian orders? If we if we do take PayPal, I don't see why we wouldn't for Canadian orders. But I don't. I just don't know if we take PayPal. Yeah, Terry would know. Do you guys ever miss the basement? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Cooper got a tour of it once. Yeah, I was not really part of it then. Yeah, but then we saw it. He was probably just like, "Ah, I'm glad we're not done here." Yeah. But it's Star Trek. Just having to see that person and know that like you guys are doing the same thing that I'm doing over here in that room from like this is a closet yeah because we're in a literal pantry mm -hmm. just making it work yeah the only light in there was like a, a clip-on hanging light too <laughs> so funny <laughs> oh don says going to nova scotia Aruba, camping, fishing, so much more. Wow, she's got, nice. she's got a That's crazy true. summer. Aruba is gorgeous. Yeah. So pretty. That's great. Finally made a live stream. Good morning. From Carolyn. Good morning, Carolyn. Brenda says, don't forget to hit the like button on the way in. <laughs> yeah, we're at 276. I wonder how quickly we can get to 300. Although, we might even be at 300. It just like doesn't update like as each person likes. It'll update like once a minute or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. So who knows? We'll see. Or no, sorry, there's 286, 87 people watching. There's only, there's only 70 likes. Now it's 82. <laughs> I 
We have a lot of Canadians watching today. New Brunswick. I think there's one person from Nova Scotia. Um, I think a lot of people from Ontario. Who are all the new people? Does Craig have an older sister that works there too? So, yeah, Leah's been oh, Leah's been working here for like over a year, right? Oh yeah. Leah started just before I did. So. Oh really? Okay. So it's like two years. Yeah. So Leah's been here for like two years. Um, and then Julia is the newest person. Amber's been here for like four months. Julia's been here about two months or a month or something. Well, just over a month. Just over a month. We put nuts in the sponge candy. So we don't make the sponge candy. We just make it, make it, or we buy it from another candy maker. Is the other, is that other candy maker still in Buffalo? Uh, I don't even know the company that's company we buy it from now because we switched a couple times. Oh yeah. So I just I just know. Sponge candy is very popular in Buffalo, New York. So yeah, I'm surprised it's, it's it was from Buffalo. Right. Yeah. Like every candy store in Buffalo basically makes they sponge all candy. Make sponge yeah. candy. <laughs> I mean, we don't have the time to do that. So. Yeah. But just uh, sponge candy and jelly bellies, I think, are the only things we don't make. Yeah. Is this green apple flavor? Someone wants to know. Yes, it is. Green yeah, apple caramel. How can that be? Someone said they're from Quis Pamsis, New Brunswick. I don't, even, I don't know if I said that correctly. <laughs> no. Follow up on the geography of that stuff? Yeah. That's a fun sounding place though. Yeah, I would assume it's like um, the indigenous people of Canada, like one of those languages. Yeah. Montreal, they have a lot of cool indigenous people museums. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's definitely a pretty decent culture for it up there still. Oh, you went to Montreal like once or twice, right? Yeah, I've been there twice. I like it a lot, honestly. Got a lot of fun art there. It's a cool city. I've only been to Toronto. I've been to Quebec and Montreal. Hmm. Never been to Toronto. Ottawa's far up there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think it's like just as far away as Toronto, but you just go up through Watertown instead of Buffalo. Yes. I went up to uh, Mount Tremblant to ski. Hmm. That's like four hours up in the cave. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lynn says, did Steve get his Monty Python shirt safely? He did. He was gonna wear it. I think yeah. he actually maybe is getting it Kara's, brought into him today. Yeah, Kara's bringing it in so I can wear it. It's hot. Hot. <laughs> He's like regretting the shirt. He's I was gonna put it on and then I didn't, and then. And then, then you're wishing her. you did. <laughs> so she's bringing it in. So I'm hot. Bringing the shirt. Now that it's almost summer. Quis Pamsis is in southeastern New Brunswick, New Brunswick, 25 miles from St. John, New Brunswick. Hmm. 
not good at geography. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I had a map in front of me. Like, yeah. Hey, we got the first person I think from South America. So it's here in Colombia at 7:52 a.m. Wow. Okay. Thanks, I mean, thanks for bad. watching. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Hola, amigo. And I'm like kilometers away from you guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cut it. Many, many kilometers. Nothing? It's starting. A little bit? A little bit. Yeah, on the side would be better. Visit. I'm gonna go for like a couple more pieces down there, but it's almost there. Uh, Rebecca Pickard sent a $5 super chat. Your videos always help me relax after crazy shifts in the ICU. Much love to you all. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Rebecca. Sure. Uh, and I saw someone saying that they had, two people actually saying that they had pancreatitis, and they're saying that they can finally watch the videos now. I another little piece. I feel like it's got to be close. It's got to be in there now. Yeah. So I hope they're feeling better. Definitely. Oh, yeah, there it is. Good stuff. We're in business. We're in business. You guys got to work on those accents, but you're off to a good start in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Never claimed to be good at it. Yeah. Definitely some work to do. I guess I'm surprised like how many people west of us are watching right now. I, I figured it'd be pretty much everyone where we are and east of us. Yeah. Uh, what do we do with the ribbon candy that has no caramel in it from this batch? So that we put out on the floor and it just says might have caramel, might not. Sold at a discount. Yeah. Good. Yeah, <laughs> it's basically just non-filled ribbon candy, or that's what it tastes like. Or you might have a little. Yeah, that's what it says. Might have it, might not. Yeah. Small business soap artisan here watching while you all work. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people will uh, watch while they're working. Oh yeah. That's good. Let's go back. Good encouragement. Other people are working. You're working. Yeah. Good. Yeah. We're all out here drawing this. <laughs> Keep going. Renee sent a super chat. You guys are awesome. She says. Well, thank you. You're awesome. Thanks. Man. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank thanks for the super chat. You're awesome as well. Never give up. Never give up. I'm writing a college. I'm writing a lecture for my college students. So also working. Okay. So I guess we're on the background. I would not be able to do that while. Oh, uh, listening or watching uh, this, maybe doing something like soap, where like it's more of like a physical thing. I'm sure you have to think about stuff, but when if you're like writing something, that's like purely thinking. <laughs> Graham sent a Canadian super chat. You guys should try a blast glown candy. Hmm. I don't even know exactly exactly what that is. If you like watching the YouTube videos about it or something. Yeah, like, you just 
just gonna like they make it into the flowers bubble. and different things. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Do that. Huh. I, that's, this is hard enough just to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, someone said that we they wish that we could ship with USPS to make it cheaper for ordering internationally. So we have tried USPS in the past they with are, not the best success. No, no, they annoying. yeah they they tend to not really care if things get somewhere on time, um, from our experience anyway. And it kind of has to be getting there on time because our cold packs are only good for up to 48 hours. Uh, and then they also have in the past tended to not really care if things are shattered or not, whereas UPS and FedEx take a lot more care. And we, we also can't really track anything with USPS, but we can track stuff with UPS and, so and if FedEx. if you lose it, you don't know whether it's still going to come or it's just gone. Yeah, that was big. Well, yeah, whatever. They're better at like, giving you know, letters. Yeah. <laughs> Don Sweeney says, never give up. That's what I say. Yeah, never give up. Just keep trying. She's the one who had the bucket list to come here. Oh, good. Jay Free says, I have a job interview today. Watching this is very calming to my nerves. Well, good luck to you. Yeah, good luck. Break the leg, you got it. <laughs> Going confident. Said, are you a film student and do you make candy yourself? Uh, I, I'm assuming that they're talking about me because I'm the one reporting. But I went to school for exercise physiology and now I make videos about candy. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are on my bucket list and will be coming soon. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, Graham sent a super chat that says it would be fun as a react video and then trying to do it yourself like I've done like you've done before yeah so now that we're finally done with Easter uh, we will finally have time for reaction videos so I'm, I'm very looking forward to that I already have a couple ideas there's especially one person that you guys have been asking for like just begging for for like the past couple months and don't worry that person who will rename remain nameless right now is on the list I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. He's awesome. Yep. I, I think I think you do know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, Shirley Nash sent a super chat. Hello from North Carolina. Your family is great. I would work for free just to enjoy your family. Get in here. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Shirley. What's the next big holiday theme for your store? Father's Day. Yeah, technically. But not really. Like this, that's, that's holidays now. Yeah. Here, so. what, what is like the main thing you guys sell for Mother's Day? Assorted. Yeah. Assorted? You have some people buying the things that just say mom? Yeah, probably a lot of that. I, mean, yeah. I think most everybody just takes their mom off for dinner. Yeah. Looks <laughs> for just, yeah, tries to take the load off. Charlie Murphy says, don't stop believing. That's but right. I, I'm thinking that he was thinking, like, don't stop yeah, no, believing. <laughs> uh, can we ship internationally? We do ship internationally. Uh, it just depends where you are because there's certain, I think, Nordic countries that don't allow any shipments of any milk products. And then there's other countries like Japan where I think everything has to be translated into that shipping label and there's just like a lot of requirements that we're just not going to do as a very very small company. What time is 
I would get it going. 8.35? So it's probably been, I think we got it on, we've been doing it to where it starts at about, like, we started the other one at 8, so start this one at 9. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's asking if we can make a bow tie with the ribbon candy. We could. <laughs> Oh, someone said, what did you think of the lentil loaf? Lentil loaf? Remember you saw it for the <laughs> You had it for the video on Saturday? <laughs> you remember I surprised you for lunch? Oh. <laughs> it's like a couple days ago. I didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah, it was great. You got me. Mm. Still get him. Still get him. Still get him. Thick boy collectible. Thick boy collectibles said, need to send to Australia, even just hard candy, please. Yeah, we don't. Well, like one, it's just really, really expensive to ship that far. Um, yeah, and also, yeah, uh, and then also, even when it does get to you guys, uh, although it doesn't technically have to be. Uh, like, you don't have to worry about melting as much. It could just, if it gets too hot, just start sticking together. And I also have, like, a very unpleasant texture. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'd love to, but... <laughs> I want to visit next month. What day is best to visit so I can meet everyone coming from Ottawa, Ontario? Weekday. I feel like it's when everybody's here. Do, like, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and we'll get to meet here. Yeah, because Karen only works here uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then, uh, everyone else here, pretty much everyone else is just Monday through Friday. Uh, I mean, uh, there's a, I think a lot of people will have one day off during the week, but it kind of changes. But I'd say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is probably the best bet. Jesse Brown sent a super chat from Japan, I think. It looks like yen. Wow. Love watching y'all, but I'm about to go to bed. Oh, yep, it says 10 p.m. here in Japan. Can't wait to get stateside so I can finally order some goodies. <laughs> I can't wait for you to do that, too. Awesome, man. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Good night. Sleep well. Uh, doesn't Australia have different rules for USA for candy? Yeah, that, there's that, there's too. I mean, tons of regulations. Yeah. yeah. I know what the military knows. Yeah, she she would be the one to be able to answer these stuff. We're just oh, there she is. I hear her voice. Um, people want to know why you can't ship to Australia. Oh, uh, because they have strict food labeling laws, so you can't. Uh, can't as yeah, as a small company, we're not going to try to. Yeah, we'd have to submit everything to a lab. Every product we make, and sorry, no can do. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning from Ontario, Canada. Hope you all have a wonderful week, and I hope you come in, Kaylina, because depending on where you are, you could only be four or five hours away. Actually, if they're right over the border, uh, like in St. Catharines, it might only be like three hours away. Good morning from Minnesota. Minnesota. Hello from Hawaii. Wow, what time is it in Hawaii? This could be like midnight or something. <laughs> well, once we get the camera, I'll have to get more time. Yeah. So it's nine here. I, there, since like no one really lives like where Hawaii is, they're kind of just like on their own, as far as I know, time-wise.
3 a.m. <laughs> good morning, good night, I don't know. Yeah, that's late. I don't know that is. I'm just glad I got to participate in your live streams. Well, we're glad to have you here. Thank you. Yeah, I do think this is a bit more of an international live stream just because of the time. Yep, 3.06 a.m. Sammy says, yep. 10 p.m. in Brazil. Hey, that's the first person who commented that they're from Brazil. Brazil, all right. I gotta switch to the other way. So, what happened was... Uh, when Sam so Sandra, that's not your fault. Sandra uh, posted a link to the website, and then I tried to like click and hold. So then I was going to see if there's an option to pin it, and then there wasn't. It just automatically went to the website from YouTube, and then I tried to go back to YouTube, and then it wouldn't let me into the live stream. And then and then I tried to start a new live stream and said, "Do you actually just want to resume this one?" I was like, "Oh, yeah, actually, I would like to do that." <laughs> Didn't know that was an option. Same time as you in Montreal. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Rhoda says, it's 9.08 from my recliner. <laughs> are you watching on the TV? Or are you just uh, watching on your phone? Someone said we need a Wi-Fi extender. Yeah, so no, that was, that was just me, I think. Because <laughs> I tried to click on the, the website because I was trying to pin or comment, but I don't know if that's a thing. So it just brought me to the website. So I was like, oh, you're out of the live stream now. Um, Laptop, okay. So for anyone asking if we can do a shout out, we don't do shout outs just because if one person asks for it, then everyone wants it. And it says the audio is going in and out now. That's weird. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, if one person asks for it, then everyone wants it. And then also the other people who are not asking for live streams, they just get annoyed because they're just like, I just want to watch the candy being made. I don't care about these, these people getting the shout-outs. So we did that before for YouTube videos, and we found out after a while that most of the people hated it. So it's nothing personal. We just don't do it for anyone. Yeah, someone's, uh, a lot of people are saying audio is kind of going in and out and other people are saying audio is fine so maybe just refresh your page or something like that yeah just try to refresh I think it really only started happening after I accidentally left the live stream and then came back in and also yeah let's Give a let's give Sandra a big round of applause because she's doing a really great job right now right, for so monitoring right. or uh, moderating. Thanks. And D Nice says, "Okay, refreshed. It's better." Yeah. So if you are having any problems, just refresh and then you should be good. Teaching how to uh, twist ribbon candy with the Fruit Loops or the Fruit Loops. Yes. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking TV, about. First of all? Yeah, mom. Wow. That's yeah. See, yes. that's what I meant. You knew what yes, I was talking I was about. Giving Julia a TV tutorial. Yeah. Okay, so for those of you who are twisting ribbon candy at home using Fruit by the Foot, this is what I have to say. Basically, you're going to use these two fingers. You want to start it off very vertically, poking through your two fingers like this. And then my fingers are like the mold. Your left hand, mostly just using your thumb. See, I'm not gonna move my hand back and forth. I'm just gonna use my thumb and push forward with my thumb. These fingers are behind the ribbon candy. 
or the fruit by the foot, you know, whichever you're using. So it's just like that. And then the other thing is, you might be tempted, the right hand oh, the thumb, right. yeah, you might be tempted to kind of like not let go and just squeeze it. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. <laughs> no, no squeezing. It'll make more sense when we uh, have this. Because this undoes itself. The right, right, candy right. will stay put. But that's the scoop. It'll be at a better counter height. Are you, so are you going to be trying to twist today for the first time? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, make sure you get right in your face the first yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, we should. Watch. Yeah. Yeah, right over her shoulder if you get some problems. Beverly, it says, been watching since the basement days. Oh, thanks, Beverly. That's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Amelia left a comment saying that Hercules doesn't determine the shipping charges uh, UPS and FedEx do. So yeah, people are ever wondering why things cost so much. We make literally zero money off of shipping. We just charge you guys exactly what we're getting charged. So we wish it was cheaper. And actually, it's cheaper than it would be because we actually have a deal from what, FedEx and UPS. Yeah, the contract. With them. The contract and with we them. Do, we do add a small surcharge for the packaging. The packaging isn't free, so we do charge you a couple bucks for that. Okay. But yeah, other than that, it's just how much the shipping costs us. But that's, that's because it would cost us that. So we're still kind of charging yeah. a cost. Yeah, we're, we, we, try, we try not to lose money on shipping, but we're also not trying to make money on shipping. Kind of break even on shipping. Yeah. So, so it's about what it would be if you're in the store. Right. Okay. Um, people keep asking if we can make a bow tie. Cooper, do you think you would want to try that at the end instead of making a duck or something? A what? A bow tie? I don't know exactly how you would do that. Maybe, um, I don't know. That will like, we have done that before. You tie a bow tie with like a, like a, like a, I don't know how, I don't even know how to tie my own bow ties. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm just like, I've never worn a bow tie. <laughs> I don't know, any, I can tie a tie with it. <laughs> any bow tie I've ever seen, I think was a clip on too, so. <laughs> yeah, I've never tied uh, my own. No. It's always clipped on or been like a, would it maybe be similar to how you guys have made like the chocolate, like the chocolate filled pretzels before? Oh, well, Something I did like that? I bow once for crack. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I mean, I'll get a piece of ribbon and show you how I did it. Okay. But, yeah. Video and audio slightly off. So it's possible that that could be the case or you might just have to refresh. Because some other people were saying that audio was off and then they refreshed and everything was fixed. Or it could be on our end, who knows? Looks like it's still in there, huh? Oh, it's been in there. You good? Just thin. It's just yeah. like pulling it out there, but that's nice. I'm not trying to pull it, so. It's not a bad thing. What is your favorite candy here? Sour, super sour hard candy. Super sour hard candy? Yeah. Super sour, yeah. Yeah? I can show you how I make a bowl, a bow tie. If I was going to use ribbon, you would just take a piece of ribbon, like this. Yeah. Go like this. Kind of make a circle out of it. And then take another small piece of ribbon, wrap it around. And like squinch it a little bit. Like squinch it? Squinch it a little bit like So that. if you guys saw a ribbon candy made like that, would you guys be happy with that? Does that suffice your bow tie needs? It would probably bow tie we just needs. made it for Greg at Lost yeah. Because Greg wears bow tie. That's his signature. Yeah. So we did do that for a challenge video. Mm-hmm.
But uh, maybe uh, if someone orders and puts bow tie in the... No. No? Yeah. Like if we make one, we wouldn't send it to them for free? If we make one. That's what I'm saying. If we make one and then oh, they just right. mention it in the shipping. You have a hard bargain. Yeah. Like, hard to find? Are we getting the non stuff? We're just about there. Then, then let me make a bow tie because they want to see me make a bow tie. Okay. So Steve, if I can have a, a piece like about half of that. Okay. And then I'm going to need another like small this? piece. Even smaller. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that's good. Happy Bullying of Birthday. Hey, Happy thanks. Birthday. I didn't know your card. <laughs> Not the best bow tie you ever saw, but it's bowish. It's it's more like a bow tie than a bow constrictor. Yeah, I mean, we don't have that much practice, so. No. There we and go. And we're only gonna do it once. Yep. So puts that in their order. Maybe if they that. maybe if they write deformed bow tie and. Ah uh, uh, yeah, even, even bow tie. I'll get the message. <laughs> Oh, hmm. well, uh, someone said, whose birthday is it? It was Steve's birthday yesterday. Yep. This whole strip right here is still a... Still... Yeah, you can still see a little bit of brown there. Yeah. Might, might not have. You gotta give them that stuff, like, actually might. Not just all might not. This is still in there, but I guess it's just not. So. Yeah. Just not, not at all. Uh, Tony Adams says, I smell a gas leak, Steve. What? They said, I smell a gas leak. <laughs> yeah. And he says, okay. Yeah, where's the gas leak? You love gas leaks now, huh? Yeah, now I know. I'm all right. Where is it? Where is oh, it? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I got a gas leak every day. Yep, we're getting there. You guys are doing six total batches of ribbon candy today? Six. This candy looks like it belongs in Elm Emerald City, someone said. Uh, it is really pretty. It's a nice ring. Yeah. It kind of just makes it metallic. -y. Got a super chat. From Jesus is my best friend, and it says, Hercules is my happy place. God bless you all. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. Yeah. Very generous. Thanks for tuning in. We got 421 people watching right now. They don't lose them. <laughs> Someone said, decades of experience right there. It's true. Uh, what's on Cooper's apron today? Same as uh, He's been really, really liking this apron. That's an awesome apron. That, I would say that's my favorite too. I totally understand you wanting to wear that one every day now. <laughs> what's he say? Welcome to my neighborhood? Or maybe my neighborhood. Like hey. All the neighborhood. All the neighbor comments. <laughs> Shaquille is watching from Granada. Granada. I think that's the first person who said they're from Granada. I mean, that's not a very big island, so. I have a, I have a friend who likes studying books there. Like, that's cool. Oh, cool. That's a beautiful place. Yeah. Very jealous. Probably a lot better than here. <laughs> so warm and palm trees. And stuff, so, yeah. Uh, Betsy C sent a super chat. Thank you for that, Betsy. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the super chat. 
watching from South Africa. Probably better weather there too. Oh, that would be amazing. I want to go to South Africa so bad. I know. I'd love to go to Cape Town or something. Mm -hmm. Are you uh, to to uh, Musi? Are you watching from Qatar? Green, pronounce Greenada. Greenada. Granada. I thought it was Granada. Greenada. Cool. All right. So are we saying it correctly if we say Greenada? Yes, yeah, it's right there. Greenada. Greenada. Huh. Greenada. 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 No, they said Greenada. Greenada. Yeah, look. It says green. Oh, so um, green nada. I literally think it's just like a oh. little something. Oh, okay, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Hello, Qatar. <laughs> Watching from that Dubai. Just on base, what they told me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Watching from the Netherlands. Yeah, we got uh, you, Sandra, are both watching from the Netherlands. Why don't you melt the corn syrup and melt it and pour it? What? I don't know what they're asking. Maybe because that's confusing. <laughs> yeah. Good morning from Milwaukee. Hey, I spent a lot of time in Milwaukee. I love Milwaukee. Yeah. Go Bucks. Christian just says, I am Dutch. <laughs> I am Dutch. Hi, <laughs> Dutch. Uh, Sam Man 84 sent a super chat. Hi from MA. Thanks for the content and friendly vibes. Cooper's from MA as well, if you, if you didn't catch that. I don't know if people knew that or not, or if the person commented knew that. Betsy sent a super chat. Happy birthday to the best Batman ever. <laughs> thanks. And thanks for the super chat. Thanks, Betsy. So that means you're better than Christian Bale, better than Michael Keaton, better than Val Kilmer. Those are big shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Not compared to you. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Quick Steve. Try reacting to traditional uh, Indian candy making. Hmm, that one we have not done yet. We've done Japanese, Taiwanese. Um, I think that was it so far. Japanese and Taiwanese. But yeah, so we could react to Indian candy making. Um, then we have that other chocolate guy who I think, I think he's based in the US. He's in Vegas. Vegas, okay, yeah, so that's the US. <laughs> Uh, chocolate guy, yeah. Oh, does he? Alright, so Sandra just posted the link, and this time I will not click on it, but if you guys want to click on it, it'll bring you right to the website where you can buy candy like this. I don't know if it's on the website just yet, but it'll be there um, soon. No, nah, it's probably not on the website probably yet, because we have been we haven't made ribbon candy in like a month or two. So. Yes, we're sold out of a lot of ribbon candy. Yeah. It's up, it's up, but probably tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all this ribbon candy. <laughs> so I think this is the. So it's not necessarily always going to be the same. Doesn't or may not have. You no, this is probably the first batch. Now, yeah, I think this is the first batch that was made. And this is going to be the stuff that is filled from this batch. And I believe this is the stuff that is not filled from this batch. So we have our three different sections here. But thank you guys for tuning in. And we gotta get back to making candy. You guys wanna say bye everyone? Bye. 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 Thanks for watching.